Citizens of Earth is a love letter to everything that made Earthbound great. Between the plot, setting, and dialogue, there's quite a bit to smile about in this gem. Each time the Vice President's text box appeared, I was preemptively grinning at the nonsense he was about to spew forth. The storyline of alien coffee corporations and government conspiracy was a fun twist when compared to the average video game plot. The issues I have with the game stem from its pacing. The game unfortunately gets bogged down in numerous repetitive battles. While the combat is satisfying in that each of your 40 potential party members has their own strengths and weaknesses, most combat boils down to hitting the enemy as fast and as hard as you can until you can take two steps before fighting the same enemy again in an identical random encounter. Early on, the game not only allows you, but encourages you to explore its world, which leads to further problems. If you do go exploring, trying to recruit new citizens or take on side quests, you'll likely accidentally overlevel yourself. This leads to what should have been an exciting boss fight becoming far too easy. The solution would be to turn up the difficulty, but that leads to the standard enemy encounters taking two or three times as long as they already do, and because they're so numerous, combat quickly becomes a chore. The traveling in this game is also rather lackluster. There are various methods of fast travel, but the computer gateways are plagued with enemies, making it take longer than just walking. The car is only slightly faster and doesn't allow you to explore anywhere but the roads, and the dream world and pilot only drop you off at certain locations. All in all, most of the game is just spent walking around, exasperated at how long it's taking to get to the next meaningful piece of gameplay. Furthermore, while traversing the overworld, you'll come upon certain areas that are locked unless you've recruited a particular citizen. It's a neat concept that numerous other games have, but where Citizens of Earth blunders is that you need to open the menu, switch the citizen that you need into your party, activate the dialogue to clear a new path, then switch them back out of the party. If the citizen is in your roster, I feel it should be automatic. This is a rather minor irritation, but in a game that's already bogged down with so much grinding, it was the last straw that made me finally give up after 11 hours of playtime. Citizens of Earth is packaged in a very wacky and enthralling world that I'd love to explore, but the snail's pace at which you get through it really left me disappointed in the experience. Stop it. I give it two crab cones out of five.